I have some very exciting news to share with you. I can barely contain my excitement because this is a project that I have been working on for months and months behind the scenes and I can finally reveal what it is. My very own discovery set in collaboration with Jovoy. I met with the Jovoy team over the summer and presented the idea of creating a box with some of my favorite fragrances and niche fragrances that I talk on my YouTube channel so that you have an opportunity to sample these. I've received so many comments, feedback on my YouTube videos saying that the fragrances that I talk about may not be available in your country or that you're finding it difficult to try them and sample them. So that is why I wanted to create a box with all of these all in one place for you to be able to try them in your own time, see how these fragrances work on your skin. Now you may ask why Jovoy? Well, first off, I shop at Jovoy regularly. I do bi-weekly or monthly visits to kind of see the newness and also they have an amazing selection of luxury niche perfumes, so many different brands and things to discover, which is why I love them. But more importantly, they have an amazing sampling program in store, but also online. And you may not know this, but Jovoy is basically the reason why I could create content during lockdown and COVID, because they have this amazing sampling program where you can buy most, if not all samples of all the brands that they carry on the website. And thanks to this, I was able to try new fragrances and also provide newness to my videos as opposed to always talking about the same fragrances over and over again. So they're super strong when it comes to samples and that's why it made sense to create a discovery set with them. So I haven't opened this set. This I've like been waiting to do this video and unbox it with you. I don't know what the finished product looks like in person. So let's unbox it now. So here she is. Look at this beautiful gold detailing. Oh my gosh, this is so luxurious. I love it. So let's reveal what's inside the box. Again, the same gold logo here. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Okay, so we have 14 samples here. Here we have some cards. There's a card with me on it, which is so surreal. I cannot believe this is happening. Um, and then we have individual cards for each of the fragrances within the discovery set with the fragrance pyramid in the back. And you also have a 10% discount code if you choose to buy any of these fragrances in full size on the Jovoy website. And it's valid for a month once you've received this discovery set. I will put all the details and links in the description box down below directly where you can shop this set. So it will be on jovoyparis.com and jovoyparis.uk. Uh, the retail price is 50 euros and 45 pounds for the UK. And you will again find all the information as to like what the shipping thresholds are, uh, what you need to get, etc. Everything in the description box down below. So let's get straight into smelling and discovering and or rediscovering these fragrances with you. So I'm going to start off with Floro by Jérôme. Now, Jérôme is a very nice niche brand and they have um, fragrances in the Extrait de Parfum concentration. So they're really strong and long lasting and such interesting enigmatic scents, I would say. And Floro, I'm going to tell you right now what it smells like. Floro is a mystical, fantastical perfume. It is a fruity floral scent with some red apple. There's jasmine and musks. And it's a type of fragrance that starts off quiet and you're like, oh, like, okay, this is like a bit soft, but it builds up over time. It's almost like a night blooming flower that just releases its essence in the middle of the night. That is kind of how Fluoro works. It will really bloom as you continue to wear this fragrance. An ethereal, transparent, luminous floral, I would say. If the flowers in Avatar, the glowing Avatar flowers had a scent, Fluoro would be it. It is that mystical and fantastical type of perfume. If you love fruity florals, you're gonna really like this fragrance. Okay, next we have, oh, Gozo. So I actually have Gozo here. This is what the bottle looks like. It is a stunning 
orange bottle and Gozo is for the white floral lovers, especially if you like tuberose like I do, this is gonna be a scent for you. So Gozo, the way I like to describe this fragrance is an exotic tuberose, a sense of escapism. And to me, this perfume brings me to a tropical rainforest. You're surrounded by brightly colored fruits, brightly colored birds and lush vegetation. There's perhaps a waterfall in the background. This is what this perfume makes me think of. So it's a tropical, exotic, fruity, sweet tuberose fragrance that is very intoxicating, magnetizing, and it's one that every time I've worn, I've received compliments on. Such a unique smelling perfume, and it's definitely one that I would recommend if you're going on date night. Next, we have, ooh, this is one that I'm really excited about, Sun Goddess by Musicology. Now, I'm gonna say this, ladies, if you love your fragrances, your tropical, exotic fragrances that will bring you to a beach, Sun Goddess is gonna be the fragrance for you. So if you like Hibiscus Palm by Erin, um, Bronze Goddess by Estée Lauder, Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa by Keali, this perfume is going to be right up your alley. Oh, this is beautiful, my goodness. It is cold right now in London and all I can think about when I smell this perfume is an exotic beach. Like, this is how powerful this fragrance and transportative, transportive, it is. Uh, so this fragrance is dominant in frangipani. There's also some vanilla and I get a beautiful, soft, milky coconut notes. It's essentially a coconut tropical floral perfume. To me, this smells as if you have just arrived in a private island somewhere in the Maldives or French Polynesia and you're greeted with a garland around your neck of frangipani and then a fresh coconut water straight out of the coconut. That is what this perfume smells like to me. A gorgeous, easy breezy, summery perfume that, yeah, I wanted to include in this box because it's really, really beautiful. Next we have ooh, Secret Amber by Welton. And this perfume is going to be for those of you who love sweet vanilla fragrances. It smells so amazing, oh my gosh. This is a sweet, intoxicating, ambery vanilla scent. And I'm gonna give you a bit of a backstory around this fragrance. I discovered this scent, I wanna, well, when I was in high school. So when I was still living in Geneva, I went into a florist and they had a candle section. And for those of you who don't know, I think Welton started with candles and then developed um, the fine fragrances, the Eau de Parfum. So I was in the florist and I smelled all the candles and the one that I was just obsessed with was Secret Amber. And then years later, like many, many years later, I was happily shopping in Jovoy in Mayfair and then I saw that Welton had fragrances and I was like, oh my gosh, like I remember with this candle that was amazing when I was younger in high school and what do you know? They created Secret Amber into an eau de parfum and I was like, Okay, I'm in heaven. <laughs> so yeah, this perfume is very nostalgic, but it's, I mean, it's so, so beautiful. So a sweet vanilla ambery scent with some light floral touches laced in between there, but it's essentially a vanilla dominant perfume. I would recommend wearing this for date night. It is a very sensual, intoxicating and inviting scent. So that makes it perfect for those date nights and especially if you like your sweeter vanilla fragrances. Okay, next we have ooh, Atelier des Orbes Cure Sacré. Now I've talked a lot about Lune Féline on my channel and you probably know it by now. So I wanted to introduce you to my second favorite fragrance from Atelier des Orbes, which is Cure Sacré. And this is more of a masculine offering, I would say. Actually, there's something I wanna point out with the selection of fragrances. I try to make it really balanced in terms of like unisex, masculine, feminine and also like the different type of scent profiles that you're gonna get so you're gonna have some sweeter fragrances some florals there's also some woods some freshies so that you can really experience the whole spectrum of fragrances that I love so Cuir Sacré this is a beautiful 
Vitiver Leathery Fragrance. The leather is a suede-like leather, very refined, very sophisticated, and then it is embellished with this earthy, woody, dark vetiver. Stunning perfume. I will say if you first spray, you're gonna be like, ooh, this is super strong and in your face, but it's one that will settle nicely and quite down over time on the skin. So it's not gonna be as in your face when you first spray as like in a few hours later. It dries down very sophisticated and elegant. This is one that I would recommend going wearing if you need to dress up a little bit more, if you have like a fancy dinner or an event to go to, I would recommend Cure Sacré by Atelier des Or. Okay, next we have Bois d'Oude by Paris. And this is a perfume that I discovered at Essence. And this is not for the faint of hearted. This is so strong, so bold, so magnetizing. To me, this is a fruity, leathery oud scent. You're going to definitely get like the darker side of oud, not like a, like a barnyard oud, if you know what I mean. More of like a darker and rougher side of oud and feels a bit rubbery almost with some fruity notes there's some rose and also a very very big dose of saffron and i think that's what gives this characteristic of like maybe a rubbery sweetness that could come off from the saffron so it's essentially a big dose of saffron a dark enigmatic oud with a touch of floral. Interesting perfume, another one that I would recommend for wearing out in the evenings. Next we have Rose Ardoise by Atelier Materie. Now this one launched earlier this year and this perfume is for the rose lovers but also for those who don't like rose fragrances because the creator of the founder of the brand doesn't like rose dominant fragrances yet she created this perfume and loves it and that is why she says it's also for those who don't like rose perfumes oh my gosh it's so intoxicating oh it's just the the cloud it's creating right now is amazing oh this is so good so uh rose ardoise which i have also a bottle of here this is what the full size looks like rose ardoise is an urban mineral take on rose very modern i haven't smelled a dna like this before it is spicy in the opening with chinus mole you can reckon the smell to pink pepper there's also some nutmeg a beautiful transparent airy rose and then you have a massive dose of ambroxan in the base which i think if i remember correctly there might be like 30 percent of ambroxan or so in this fragrance from when i had met the founder and she told me about this perfume. So anyways, there's a very big dose of it in this fragrance, which gives the most beautiful sillage and central. And to me personally, it makes this fragrance super addictive. So overall, it is a cold rose, an icy rose. So it feels refreshing. And it's another fragrance that I find to be very elegant. And you can wear it for everyday use. I would recommend wearing this perfume during the springtime. I think this is a nice spring scent springtime or even in the autumn time not necessarily summer or winter but spring and autumn could be quite nice yeah an icy refreshing rose fragrance for those who don't like roses but also for those who do next up we have my beloved le vent by ormond jane ladies if you've been watching my latest youtube videos you know how much i love le vent by ormond jane i am almost halfway through the bottle and I got this fragrance a few months ago. This is the fragrance that is as close as a signature scent that I has and I feel like I finally found my perfume, you know? And I wanted to share it with you because it is a, uh, an underrated fragrance that not a lot of people are talking about and I've received DMs from you saying that you've got it as well and you love it and so I wanted more of you to sample this fragrance because it's truly, truly a beautiful floral. So Le Vent is a fragrance that is essentially, I'm gonna keep it simple because there's lots of notes in there, but it's peony, orange blossom and musk. It's as if you had received a beautiful, fresh bouquet of delicate peonies from your husband, partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, 
alongside a box of orange blossom infused Turkish delight. So sprinkled with a little bit of powdered sugar. That is what this perfume to me smells like. It has a bit of sweetness. It has a fluffy orange blossom notes that is so beautiful. And there's a lot of elegance and femininity associated with this fragrance. It's a perfume that you can wear all year round from day to night. It's so easy to wear and it feels great when you wear it. Like I feel super confident and feminine and my best when I wear this perfume. So I think, I think this is my favorite fragrance from this selection. Yeah, definitely. Okay, next we have um, Bohemian Mime by Goldfield and Banks. Ooh, this is a great summer staple, masculine, sexy, long lasting, freshy. If you are looking for a long lasting citrus fragrance that has a huge projection, Bohemian Lime is the one I always recommend on my channel. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, wow, wow. Bohemian Lime is an exotic, fresh citrus with a really sparkling, effervescent effect. So the notes in this perfume are Australian finger lime, which is a particular variety of lime. You also have sandalwood and an interesting note of coriander. I absolutely love it. It's as if you were drinking a lime ginger cocktail on a deserted island. You're on a hamaca, living your best life. This is what this perfume is about. The longevity is phenomenal. This is a 10 hour plus citrus fragrance with a beautiful, beautiful projection. So everyone will be able to smell you when you wear the scent. Next up, we have Aqua Six Juice by Jules and Mad. Now this is another long lasting citrus fragrance and it's one that I would recommend wearing when it is scorching hot outside and you need something to refresh you instantly. This is what Aqua Six Juice will do. So it is a green citrus amber scent that predominantly smells of a green zesty lime mixed with some light floral notes, perhaps neroli, and some marine notes. So it has an aquatic, very fresh dimension. It's not a fragrance that is gonna like bring you to the beach by the seaside. I picture this perfume more being like as if you had taken a dip into an ice cold swimming pool on a hot summer day. That is what the impression that this perfume gives me. It's like you're in an ice cold pool, you're surrounded by olive trees, cicadas are playing in the background. Like this is the vibe of this fragrance. Really lovely, long lasting citrus fragrance. It's another one that lasts 10 hours plus. It's not as beast mode as Bohemian Lime. Like it's not gonna project so loudly. It's more of on the moderate side of projection, but it's really long lasting. Next, we have Olfactive Studio Still Life in Rio. So this is the other citrus I wanted to absolutely include in this box. And this one is one of the first niche fragrances that I've purchased. And I've talked about actually back in the days when I used to write my blog and I'll link the article down below if you want to see it. But anyways, Still Life in Rio is a citrus cocktail with coconuts. So imagine a citrus colada. So you remove the piña or the pineapple and you replace it with citruses. This is what this perfume smells like. Oh, so, so good. It has this addictive coconut milk note, but it still is very fresh. It's not overly creamy. So it's like coconut milk and coconut water with citruses. There's a bit of rum as well. It's beautiful. Like I would say if you were to go to a tropical island destination, and that's what I've done. I've taken Bohemian Lime and also Still Life in Rio. So here we have them. Bohemian Lime, Still Life in Rio for him and for her. So I got you covered. If you are ever going on holiday, you can take these two citrus fragrances. And actually Still Life in Rio is one that I personally enjoy in really hot, humid environments when it's very like, you know, sticky outside and you feel gross and you just want to feel refreshed and lightly perfumed. This is the one that I always reach out for. So Still Life in Rio by Olfactive Studio. Now we're going to move into the sweeter fragrances and I wanted to uh, include an addictive perfume in the set. And the one that I decided to go for was Rima 11 by Karner. This is so good. If you love milky, creamy perfumes, 
this is, this is for you. An addictive, creamy sandalwood fragrance with cardamom, there's some vanilla. This essentially smells like a madeleine and if you shaved some lemon zest on top, this is what this perfume smells like. So it's lemony, vanilla sponge cake like and like really creamy as well. That's what this perfume is. I like to wear this fragrance if I'm, you know, feeling like I want something a little bit sweet and soft before going to bed because I like to perfume myself before going to bed. This is one that I would reach out for or if it's pouring rain and it's cold and miserable, like a miserable autumn or fall day, this is also one that I would reach out for, spritz some and grab myself like a hot vanilla spiced chai latte and just feel really cozy. There's something that's super cocooning about it and very easy to wear. So love, love Rima 11. And if you love creamy sandalwoods, this is one that you'll probably really enjoy too. Next, we have Piano Santal by L'Orchestre Parfum, speaking of sandalwoods. So this one, and milky fragrances, this is an ultra lactonic scent. Whilst Rima 11, I would say, is more creamy, Piano Santal is very milky. It's the ultimate fall and winter scent. Oh, this smells so good. So it has a bit of a um, dulce de leche effect, like caramel, milky feeling about it. That's what I get from this perfume, wrapped up in these beautiful woody notes. Stunning woody fragrance, woody lactonic scents. Lovers, you're going to really enjoy this. Next, we have Molecule O2 by Eccentric Molecules. And I featured this fragrance in my second YouTube video. So I've loved this perfume for many, many years. And if you haven't tried it yet, this is basically Ambroxan in a bottle. And it, that, that's what it is. It's Ambroxan encapsulated in a fragrance bottle. When I was in perfumery school, Ambroxan it was, and it still is, my favorite synthetic ingredient that is used in perfumery. And I remember when we were training our noses, we had like these little vials with all of the raw materials, and I would directly put Ambroxan onto my skin. That is how much I loved this scent. And when I found out about eccentric molecules, I was, I was thrilled because that means I could just drench myself in as much Ambroxan as I wanted to. So I think this is like my second or third bottle of the fragrance. Beautiful, musky, marine, amber, woody scent. Ambroxan is so addictive. It's an iconic ingredient that has featured in like a lot of men's fragrances, like fresh fragrances like Le Mal. There's also in Acqua di Gio Profumo and Acqua di Gio, the original, um, Dior Sauvage, and also in women's fragrances as well. And what I like about Molecule 2 is just how smooth and fresh the Ambroxan is. And it's my favorite type of Ambroxan because there's like other versions that I don't like as much. This one one, Molecule O2 is the best one in my opinion. It's also a great fragrance to layer with. So you can layer some of the fresher citruses that I talked about with Ambroxan. What I like to do is like an Ambroxan sandwich. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. I'll spray Ambroxan first on the base and then I'll spray a citrus or any other type of fresh fragrance directly on top. And then because one layer of Ambroxan isn't enough, I'll spray another layer of Ambroxan. And like that, these citruses will last all day because Ambroxan is a molecule that really helps tether the fragrance to your skin and it acts as a fixative, which is great. So if you experience issues with some of your fresher fragrances that are not long lasting, if you spritz some Ambroxan with them, it will help with their longevity. So I just realized that we've already gone through all the fragrances. So that is that. 14 perfumes in this discovery box, some of my favorite fragrances. And I'm really happy that you get a chance to sample these fragrances for yourself and see how they work for you. I will pop all of the info in the description box down below as to where you can shop this box. And also as a reminder, if you do get this box, you can get a 10% discount uh, with the code that is within the box if you decide to shop any of the full size bottles from this discovery set. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these fragrances already and if what are your thoughts on them, I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.